Yeah, alright. <laughs> Hi there guys, it's 0955 hours on August 18th, 2014. Batman's here. Hi. And, uh, and Ziff's here from sunny California. No, we came from Missouri. Oh, you came from Missouri on this trip, okay. So, he's here from Missouri. We, we'll try really hard not to hold that against him. But, what else is here is this big damn box. Check that out. It is awesome, it is going to rock your world, and you'll get to know what's inside it by the end of today's episode, but not yet. You're going to have to wait patiently for that. It's going to be pretty cool. But it's, uh, it's a happy, happy day, and we are very, very excited to have this giant box and the contents therein finally here at the lab. We had to wait for them to make it, because each one is handmade, and that's just awesome. So, it's a thing. So we have a big day. We got Batman's getting ready to head out on a dark trip. Um, we're headed off to pick up a big donation of office furniture so that you can have desks that match in the front offices. And then we've got to move this, and then we got to go pick up an air compressor, and then we got to sort out a bunch of scrap metal, and then we got to take this thing down. It's a busy day. There's a lot of shit going on. So you guys are going to have one hell of a blog, and Nick is excited. So. It's like that. Enjoy the show. 1241 hours and we're having more fun with the dumpster. The neighbors are dropping things off and today they dropped off a toilet for us. So that's that's nice. And they're, they're leaving boxes around and making a mess. So this is the fun of the day. And the police are just leaving. They're, they stopped by to check it out. If I find Arlo Guthrie did that, kicking his ass, just so you know. We'll be back. So here's a cool bit of fun. If uh, you're gonna leave a toilet in somebody's parking lot, you might want to be smart enough to not leave fingerprints on it, because you can see these rather clear spots here that are outlined by what looks like a piece of tape. That's where the GRPD pulled the fingerprints off the toilet. So, science, man. Can't wait to find out who belongs to that toilet because we're going to give it back with comedy, with tact, and with a vengeance. Alright, guys, we're live. It's 1400 hours, and welcome to Viewer Mail. I'm Chris Bowden. You're not. That's heavy as hell, and it feels like it's filled with meat. <laughs> I think it would be leaky. All top two done? <laughs> Usually, if it's down to meat, it's been kind of, of uncomfortable. I would not use a knife on this. Do you know what it is? I have a very strong idea, and I would not use a knife. Okay. Bayside Candy. Who sent this? Whoever sent this, thank you for blue gum. That is like, oh, that's five pounds. Gummy bear. That's. Now I know what gummy bear is for. More stuff for editor. Eventually, he's going to achieve critical mass of parts, and just we're going to get an explosion of productivity. I would like to thank Mr. Michael Brooks, sir, for cables and a, a little tiny, tiny prototyping board. Cool. I have got to, I really got to take a minute and hang on this one. That's a 
funny feeling bars. You know what goes really well with little tiny wires? Proto boards. That's awesome. This is exactly, you know what we need now? We have ten prototype boards right there. And a bunch of these cables to go with a pile of a bunch of other cables. We need more of those cables. Now we need ten kids that want to come in here and learn about basic circuit design. That's cool. This is from Mr. William Pribble. Thank you, sir. He sent five shiny, shiny sockets. This is a set for spark plugs. These are specifically spark plug sockets. Spark plug sockets are very similar to regular sockets, but what makes them special is down inside they have a rubber grippy piece, and they're, they're deep well with a rubber grippy piece, and they usually have a wrench assembly on the bottom, so you can grab them with a wrench. And thin wall heat shrink tubing in a rainbow of fruit flavors. Cool. You, you cannot have enough of this. There is, there is no... You no gotta, you gotta not say stuff like that. I am okay if people start noting heat shrink tubing, because especially in the bigger sizes, we use a lot of it. With high voltage growing the way it is... Who's that one addressed to? This one? Viewer mail? Okay. Care of Joe Johnson. So I think, I think Joe sent it in. So this part I understand, and thank you, sir. Now we have two of these, so we can do both of Ed's ears and see if we can drown his ass. And these I think I understand, because I think these are the tips that go on that, which is cool, because these are really long. They're, they're longer than the ones that are on that, and that's good, because Ed's ear holes go halfway to his nose. This is the cheapest, absolutely shittiest Oculus Rift I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like a emesis basin for your ear. That's wait, oh, that sounds kind of cool. All right, this is this is going to be all kinds of fun. Now we need to get some head bondage, hold his ass down, and just fill him to the gills. Thank you, Joe. So I got a box here. It's addressed to Mike Jablonski. Because somebody has watched entirely too many blogs. And it would appear that somebody who sent in one of our donors is a smartass. Who is the smartass of the day? It's Donald Mackey! I don't know what this is for, but it looks like trouble. Oh, by the way. I want to see if I want to see if Chris remembers where their shipping name came from. From Donald Mackey. Yes, I remember where the shipping name came from. When we had the delivery dude at the back door in the MDH, and yeah, I remember that. We do watch the blogs on top of the fact that, oh yeah, I lived them. So it's very lightweight. Champion Sports 12 foot MP12. Captain Duraco. What? Captain Duraco. <laughs> How hard would it be for you to get the parking lot camera on the live stream real quick? Get the back parking lot on the live stream right now. Thank you. This is the piece of viewer mail. This is the last and awesomest piece of viewer mail. Everybody follow me. <laughs>
All hands to the parking lot. Rocco, once you've done that, you and all of your pets come to the back parking lot quickly. All hands to the parking lot. The middle. Take the biggest open area parking lot you can find. Once you've got that, you can come up here and tell me where to stay. Oh, this is nice. Like God's flashlight. All right. You have 30 seconds to solve it. If you can't do it in 30 seconds, they'll see it in the blog. Okay. See the little hoops? Everybody grab a hoop. Wanna grab a hoop? Hey, it's tiny, but it's a parachute, damn it. And it's cool. Now we have to come up with interesting applications for a 12 foot shoe. Hey, Nick! Yes. We're gonna need some twine. We're gonna throw you off the roof. Okay, where am I gonna find the twine? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna throw you off the roof. God, it's like being in third grade again, isn't it? <laughs> so this Maybe it's you have to bring it up and then everybody all up under it. Yeah. I don't know if we can all fit under it. <laughs> I don't think so. There's plenty of room. <laughs> so I think I think we need a bigger parachute. Yeah. We have a bigger one coming. Smaller people. Yes, we did. We did order a big giant one. But we ordered it, and then after ordering it, told us it ships in six to eight weeks. Okay, but how big is it? It's like Thirty-four big, feet. Thirty-four feet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool. Guys, we have a parachute. We have a parachute, and I have a car with a target top. Can I, can I be a part of that? <laughs> yes, we're going to put you in the rock climbing harness and just and try, out parasailing. try out parasailing from the car. <laughs> John 131. This is, this is cool. We have, we have a little baby parachute. So we have to do some interesting science with this. I'm not entirely sure what. I put this one on the wish list because it was so cheap. Uh, yeah, where's the puppy? Yeah. yeah, get the dog! That's a great idea! We'll go for altitude. How That's far cool. and how fast can we launch the dog? Wait. Well, the limiting factor really is, is the, the wind resistance from the parachute. So we have to come up with interesting things with this, but I think it's going to involve... We need more robot arms. I, I, I have a feeling this will involve some small carabiners, some 550 parachute cord, and uh, a very tall parking garage downtown. I'm amazed that nobody has brought up the air cannon yet. Yeah. I'm not with you. Like, catch the tennis ball, catch the tennis ball with this or something? Yeah. Or Don't attach it to anything. See how far you can make the tent All right, go. Now, here's the ultimate puzzle. You have a circle. Fold it back the way it was so it'll go in the thing. <laughs> I don't know how it was folded. We all just grabbed the corner and took a step back. Yeah, I think that would be good thing to do. All right, here. That's, that's half. That's, that's the over. The line's going to be there, okay? That's, that's half there. All right. Okay. Nope. No? You're on off. Okay. And then Rose. Dude. Megan, that's Rose. <laughs> no, that's Rose. That's Rose. That's Rose. <laughs> she was over there a minute ago. No, I wasn't. I've been standing right Rocco, across from Rose. you. Rose. <laughs> what are you doing? We're going here? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Now you have to roll on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> he brought twine. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh, get me on the roof. We're throwing you up there with you this. You die screaming with that application. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That is awesome. And that is viewer mail for the day. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. We'll be back after this.
In several states in the USA, it's still legal for an employer to discriminate against an employee based on sexual preference and orientation. Being gay, lesbian, or transgender is a fireable offense, and that's bullshit. So... Give me your twinks! Your bears! Your lipstick lesbians yearning to code PHP! Give me your dykes! Your kinksters! Your furries! And transgenders looking for more! Send these! The rainbowed sparkly code poets to me! Compile with us! We don't care whom you adore! Seriously, folks, are you LGBTQ or a champion for their cause? Do you have mad web developing skills? Then we want to talk to you! Visit this link and fill out an application today. Where you are in the world doesn't matter, so get in touch. Straight, bigoted asshats need not apply. In fact, we'll laugh at you if you do. Sixteen hundred hours, and the truck's back. We've got desks and big cabinets for storage because we have a lot of stuff and we need places to put it. So, progress. So one of the things we're really good at is research. And we're patient, and we're pissed off. So we're good at this kind of thing. And if you're going to leave a giant pile of trash in our parking lot, what we do is we get a couple guys with cameras. And we get Minkus, who is not afraid to get his hands dirty. And he's going to dig things like this out. So this is what we've got. Here's the first address we came up with. Now, understand all of these pieces of paper were pulled out of our dumpster, right? Correct. And they were pulled out of the dumpster by you? Today, yes. Okay. So, the first piece of paper, and I just, I figured I'd share this with the internet, because I know you guys like it when we give out information like this, like last names, brand names, and phone numbers, is Candy Dawn Pineda at 1147 Fremont Avenue, Northwest, Grand Rapids, Michigan, 49504-4111. If you're curious where 1147 Fremont Avenue, Northwest is, it's that house right there. It's the yellow house on the corner, which is... You know, there's the house, there's the dumpster. There's the house at 1147 Fremont Northwest, and there's the dumpster. So that's the first one. The second thing we have, hey look, it's another name. This gentleman has a receipt from Enterprise Iron and Metal on Panel Street. His name is Michael Palazda, I think. To me that reads like a, uh, I don't know, come here, is that an A or an O? P-A-L-A-Z-Z-D-A? Or P O L A Z Z D A. I don't know. The internet can sort no, it out. Like but he uh, he got a couple bucks for what looks like uh, I'm I'm guessing this was a receipt for either dropping off scrap or picking up steel. And then we've got this. This is to Bruce. A little old, but so there's the message to Bruce. Frank was obviously involved. So there you go. But the big one, the money shot, right there. Name and address. Hi. Hey. Hey, do you know who Candy Pineda is? No, I do not. Well, we're going to get to be real good friends with her. Yeah, I understand that she's been dumping her shit. She has, and she was dumb enough to leave her name and fucking address on an envelope in the dumpster. Well, that was pretty Isn't sweet. that awesome? I love it. It's Candy Pineda. Yay. This is our good neighbor. We like her. She's yeah. cool. I don't throw stuff. I bring Legos. You bring Legos? Yay, and occasionally bring the dog back. So, occasionally bring the dog back. Or back. Pepper, when the Pepper, big dog wanders Pepper, out. The big fluffy. Yeah. Yes, or I have to do. I do. Yes. You guys have fun. We'll be back. All right. So, anyways, I want to like a glove. Thank you, by the way. So that's a significant upgrade to the AV gallery storage. So, yesterday, we had shelving units to here. This is, this is the existing ones. We had three rows. And now we have three and change more rows. So, I'm happy about that. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. We love you. They even latched together. So that one's a different size. So, move that one out. Let's grab roses. These two are the same size. 
No, this no. one's smaller. So it's, that? Yes. Yes. I don't believe it. You will. Uh, I guess we won't. Mm -hmm. It's a mystery. It's a That's mystery they've given us really false. Yes. Is this just really long? Yeah. Okay, then we'll just do this two and this one will go somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. There's three right. of these Of course there are. But these are all the same color, so it's good. Well, there's one more out there that matches this one. It's got this, it's... Well, we don't need the little kickboard on both sides. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, what? We're good. Let's go. <laughs> it's not a kickboard. It's a modesty panel. You never understood the band name, Modest Mouse? Whatever. Doesn't okay. make sense. Um, they're banned. They have t-shirts and posters and everything else. Do you want a list of band names that don't make sense? No, I just that one in particular that bugs me. Just the name. Beige, beige desk's out of the way. Yeah, beige desk. Now that one. Yeah. Don't shake the baby. Beige desk. Rose, stop. Ro Ro oh, God. Rose, put it back. There. Pick the desk up, rotate it 90 degrees in the air, and it'll fit. Guys, flip it. Like this. Look at me. Look at my hand. Like that. That is so not the way to do it. Did, oh dear God, if there's a hard way to do something. Hi. That was painful to watch. Hey, grab a corner, man. Let's, let's get this out of there. This is the third set of desks in the room today. So we were thinking of putting that nice desk that Rose was using over here for Josh. Okay, I'm good with that. And it'll go with these, all right. Yes. Yeah, all right. Which is cool, because that's a big damn thing. We can get that out of the way. Time is 2051 hours, and this is office version 5, I think. I don't know. I don't know where we're at, but it's been a lot. So, what's the layout? My desk. Moose's desk. Which one's Moose's? The uh, one, you know, right in front of the boxes, against the wall. Uh, Rose's desk is one the theater on right now. Okay. Josh's desk is the big. In the back. Spans up one. And this is new desk. Yeah, these three are going to be um, just intern. Okay. Everybody needs a desk temporarily. Okay. Cool. So that's the progress on that. You want the lights out? Yeah. All right. Thank you. And uh, the lobby.
bit of a mess. But we've never had that before. So what do you think of your first day? Come here, walk me. I have blast blizzard. Huh? I have blast. You have blast? You got to go to Lansing. Yeah. You got to get truckloads of stuff. Tomorrow you get to see the big thing opened up. Yeah. That's going to be cool. That's I wanted to do that today so bad, but by the time we were done with dust and everything, it was like 6 o'clock already, and everybody was fried. By the time we got everything sorted out, it was like 7, everybody wanted to go to dinner. So, this is going to be so cool. I got my electrodes. I'm very excited about that. Tomorrow, with any luck, I'll work on mounts for those. So tell me about your first day. What What's your initial thoughts and experiences of the Geek Group? When I first got here, it was just, I felt like I was here. I've been here before. So you you it. watch a lot of blog. <laughs> so, you know, I come in, I feel like, yeah, I've been here. I recognize all this, but I, in the back of my mind, I still have to tell myself, I've never been here. Don't touch anything until I'm, you know. But it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. It's a lot of hard work. Yeah, you, you picked I, a, I, you, you yeah. showed up on Break a Bitch Monday. It's, it's a all thing. Good. It's all good. I, I shed a lot of water, but <laughs> you know what? You're going to lose 10 pounds in your first week here. here. It's going to be cool. There's a lot more stairs in this building than you think when you watch the blog. I'm still so talking about it. It's all good. That's tomorrow. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. I'm a special kind of person. I left my keys downstairs. It happens. Hey, Jerry. What's your waist size? What's your number? 34, 32. 32 at most. Because you're tinier than I am. And I'm a 32. Why? Huh? Why? You have a 28 inch waist, don't you? I don't know. Hold this. Come here. That's why. Minnesota. So, yeah, I'm going to get you a belt that doesn't suck, but I had it on your side. So, about me. Yeah. Yeah. So, come on. Because eighth grade belt. How are you feeling? You alright? Still standing, yeah. Okay, yeah. well. Relax. It's chill time. Yeah. Rock up with Rocco. Yeah, He's going home. He's going home. Good night, sir. I'm going to go edit. You guys have fun. That's a blog. Is that it? Mm.